welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do something different than what we've been doing. Um, we're going to stamp. And um, I've got my white cardstock out. In pieces. This is my card base. And I'm just going to fold it. And we are going to use ink pads. And I'm using all white. And we're going to change the corners. That is if I can cotton ball. Okay. My famous cotton ball. Cheap. Although you may not be able to find them right now. With everything that's going on in the world. Um. Trying to figure out what color I want to use. <laughs> Got too many cheese from Okay, we are going to use lavender lace, and this is a Stampin' Up. Now I'm going to put a glove on because of my nails. If I didn't have nails on, it wouldn't bother me a bit. But when you spend 30, 40 bucks on nails, you know. And I'm just going to go around the edges because this is just going to be the base of it. And it's been a while since I've done this, so y'all bear with me. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm just going around the edges. But see, this is why you wear gloves. Okay. Now, I got to figure out which one. And the gloves does not help. If you want to keep a piece of Stock. Okay, now I know this is going to be a strange one for y'all, for a lot of y'all to understand that I'm using, but this is a piece of wand. I mean, this is just a regular piece of wand, and I've taped around the edges so it won't poke me, but I love how this looks on a card, and um, I've used it a lot. In the past for my backgrounds and uh, we are going with uh, Blackberry Bliss and y'all will put on another glove because of the fact that I don't want my nails messed up And I'm just going to grab another cotton ball and I'm just going to dot it. And I am using Stampin' Up! inks. Um, I like the Stampin' Up! inks. There's a lot of Stampin' Up! stuff I don't, I mean, I think is a highway robbery. The ink pads, I think, is just is worth the money for the most part. Um, I found a lady on Facebook that was selling, I think I got around 60 stamps for like 20 bucks. Stamp 
pads. Um, I haven't played with them at all. This is the first time I've been playing with them. And just kind of rub it. I mean, do it the way you need to do it. I mean, I'm just using this as a stencil. I usually use a... Oh, help me. A dabble. Dabble. But I'm not for sure why my dabble... My stuff is for my stamping up. Because it's been so long since I've done any of this. And I'm making some a little bit darker than the others. I mean, that's the deal of making your own background paper and all. I mean, you get to choose. How to do it. Um, like I said, usually I don't. I mean, if y'all have been following me. At any length of time, y'all usually know I don't wear gloves. But I've been getting my nails done, and I just I cringe <laughs> at the price of them anymore. But I mean, they look good, and I got ink all over them. But I do know alcohol does take a lot of it off. I do know that much. Okay. Nope, I just got it all over my chin. Alright. I'm going to clean my hands with alcohol. Yes, I know. It's rough on my hands. But I can't spin that. Okay, now, here's the fun part. We are going to do uh, uh, Easter. Who's ready for Easter? I mean, I usually use baby wipes, but with this virus, baby wipes is, is not even available here. Never even thought about running out buying a ton of baby wipes. Maybe milk and bread, you know. And I got these stamps uh, last year when we was in Texas down in um, Paris, Texas at um, Tuesday morning. And this is my ho hand homemade Stampin' jig that is like the Misty. I call it a, a Marie. Marie's my middle name if you don't know. And I don't say that lightly. But uh, I'm going to place my stamp. Then I'm going to place my cardstock. And um, I have. I haven't done a video on how to do this. Um, I haven't even thought about it. But if you want to know, leave me a comment below and I will show you how to build one. Although there is um, all kinds of um, tutorials out, out there for this. Um, that's how I figured it out. So that's dry. Okay. What if you stay so? Um, no biggie. I <coughs> know <coughs> I'm not sick. I just got a cough. And 
why I'm using this is because it's been so long since I've stamped. I don't want to mess up. Does anybody else do this? <sighs> and this is why I like it. Like it. Because you can go back and redo ink. If you need to. Teach the dogs not to bark, but Lance help me. It seems like every time I get on video, they want to bark. They may be quiet all day long if I get on video. Okay, I'm going to take colored pencils and I'm going to color the band a few of these things just to make it pop. Um, you can do use whatever you've got, use what you want, crayons, whatever. This is my 150. Um, colored pencils that I did a video on a while back. Um, I'm not for sure how long ago. Because it's been a while. Because I ain't been around much the last year or so. And I apologize for that. But life, my health, all of it combined, it's just kind of took a toll on me. Um, I'm staying pretty well in right now because of the virus Although, and cleaning my hands with alcohol I think that's the best thing for me to do and um, we are still working on the uh, class A we Got uh, puppies on the way again, and we think. Mr. Jesse James has been very busy lately. And um, so, if y'all needing a Maltese puppy or would like one let me know and we'll see what we can do for it to help you out and yes they are expensive and I understand that whole concept more than y'all realize So, what are your thoughts on this virus going around? Are y'all take are y'all panicking or just taking it one day at a time? <clears throat> I mean, I don't see what the big di I mean, I saw a doctor on um, face on uh, Craig. <laughs> no, let me on YouTube last night on a, a video, um, RV video, um, long lost honeymoon, or long, long, yeah, long, long, hot, lost, and she was on there talking about the virus, and she was like, everybody's just panicked, it's nothing more than 
mostly the flu. But everybody's just took it out of... I mean, there's not enough numbers or tests to really know. So... I mean... I know around here people has just totally panicked. I saw on YouTube, Facebook this morning, a video of what a couple of ladies was fighting over toilet paper, and they had to call nine one one because it was so it was that physical. And I'm thinking, don't y'all buy toilet paper in bulk? I mean, I don't I don't get it. I mean, we buy toilet paper once a month for a month at one time. So, And I know I've used a lot of colored pencils on this, and it's taken a little while to do, but I think it's going to look, I mean, it's going to give it a little bit more definition than just And for the ones that don't know, um, Tuesday mornings, they say it's really a good source to get um, card making supplies, scrapbooking supplies. The one that I normally go to is not that great. Um, I usually can't find nothing. Now, the one in um, Paris, Texas, I found all kinds of stuff. So, I think it depends on what part of the country you in. going to trim this down. Okay. <clears throat> what will fit. And when you trim 
I mean, you do what you want. Um, My blade is about out. I am going in with a Daffodil Delight ink pad. And I'm not going to use gloves this time. Well... I was just going to do the edges, but I screwed up, but it'll be okay. We're going to act like I meant to do this. I mean, sometimes some of my mistakes comes out to look better than what it was going to anyways. But I've done that pretty hot, heavy. And like I said, I made a mistake. Uh, no big deal. I mean, that's what crafting is all about, ain't it? And uh, I think I'm going to use pop squares. And my pop squares, I can find them. Is from Dollar Tree out of the um, hardware. They are super glue, uh, foam mountain tape. You get all of that in plus for a buck. And they do stick on other stuff. Nails is good, good until you want the best thing to have. Oh. Anybody else agree? And I had no idea what I was do doing until I kind of sat down to do it. Um, that's just who I am. I mean, I had a global idea in my head, but not a total idea that, like I should have. Um, I'm going back with this um, blueberry or blackberry bliss and I'm just gonna do my edges to give it some definition I think it needs something else Then I'm going back with the lavender lace and do uh, the same thing. Can y'all tell I like inking?
Now, I'm going to take my ATG gun. And I'm going to find it. And I'm going to put tape on this. And I'm going to put about four strips. I mean, I hardly usually put too much. Some people says just put a couple strips. Do what you want. I mean, it's your corn. We need some bling. digging y'all. Okay, I'm going to use my quick stick. Oh, I'm going to try to. Why not? Maybe dry it up. I ain't used it in so long. Huh. I guess they did dry it. Won't be buying no more of those. Y'all, yeah, this is my rhinestones. And I've got some that is on... Okay. That's it. I want to say thank you for joining us at Angie's Creative Studio. And I hope you enjoyed this happy Easter um, greeting card. And uh, stay tuned. We'll have some more because Easter's coming up. And I'm just excited for Easter. And excited about getting back into card making some. Um, I still like to paint and all. I'm just not good at it. And I hope y'all, um, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe below. Give us a thumbs up. We love you. Have a blessed, blessed day. Bye.